three, two, one. Hi, I'm Dr. Hale, and in this video, oops, there's a can in the way. Hi, I'm Dr. Hi, I'm Dr. Hale, and in this video, I'm gonna do my own self-introduction speech. It's gonna be brief. It's gonna be longer than me just saying, hi, I'm Dr. Hale. And then I'm gonna tell you a few things that you might want to avoid. So number one, have yourself some notes. I'm recording this on my cell phone, and so just below the screen, I have a laptop with a few notes on it. If you're recording on your laptop, you might have some notes up in a separate application. You might also go with something very low tech and just have a notebook. That's what I do if I have done any Zoom interviews or anything like that. Just have a few notes to yourself, bullet point, keep it simple. Whenever you're introducing yourself in sort of a public context face to face, which we can't do now because of COVID-19, you don't have to worry about this, but you want to have a clean backdrop. I'm outside rather than inside where my two dogs are terrorizing me. So I'm outside, you have to hear a little bit of traffic sounds from down the road and you have to hear beautiful nature sounds and that's okay. But generally speaking, you want to have a relatively clean palette behind you so that whoever's listening to you isn't distracted by clutter or your weird um, posters in the background or things like that. So avoid things like having the laundry chair. You know that one chair that's in your room that you put all the laundry and it just stacks until one night you see a shadow of said laundry chair, but you believe it's the shadow people trying to kill you. Don't have laundry chair in there is what I'm trying to say. And another thing, have your camera parallel to your face. I always get frustrated when I see people on camera um, doing a Zoom call or an interview or something like that where the camera is either very, very low and we're looking up their nose and sort of it's forcing them to have a bad perspective that's not flattering, or the inverse from high and looking down on them where it looks like we as the person viewing through the camera lens are sort of judging them. And though we may be, we don't want it to look that way visually. You wanna look as best as you can on camera, right? You wanna present yourself accurately and fairly and honestly, and you wanna do it in the best possible condition. So having your camera as best as you can parallel to your face is gonna help. This is for interviews or anything that you do in this class. Okay, so this class isn't an editing or production class. It's public speaking. It's about public address. So you can do multiple takes. Let's say you record your introductory speech 15 times, go through and select the best take and then submit that on YouTube and then send that link uh, into D2L. But I don't want you to go through and take multiple iterations or multiple takes and then snip and cut and splice that to form the perfect edit. None of that. I don't want any editing for the first speech or the second speech, the uh, media review. But in the final speech, I might let you, uh, depending on if people are interested, do some creative editing. So things that are a telltale sign if there's jump cuts. So what is a jump cut if you're not sure? I'm gonna move my right hand, that, that's a jump cut, right? See how there's a skip in motion. Um, here's another one, so you can tell that's a jump cut. If I see any of those, I'm gonna take a buttload of points off. So you don't wanna be doing any sort of things like that. All right, so don't do jump cuts. All right, so now I'll introduce myself. Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew Hale, though I tend to go by Matt in my everyday life. I have a bachelor's degree and a master's degree from Western Kentucky University and a PhD from Indiana University from the Department of Communication and Culture. My research tends to focus on social media, youth culture, digital content creation, and especially fandom and participatory cultures. And I'm really excited to work with all of you this semester because I think public speaking, though it's a class that I dreaded as an undergraduate, it was actually the only B, one of two Bs I got in all of my 15 years of education. And it's something that I think a lot of people tend to dread. It's a really useful skill and it's something that you're going to use literally all the time. So you, you need to be better at than you are now and continue to get better at public speaking. It's a valuable skill. Thanks, bye. Three, two, one. Okay, so train.